In this video, I'll show you how to wire your new Radon Away fan. The tools you'll need will be a needle nose pliers, a channel locks or pliers, a Phillips screwdriver, and a utility knife. Let's get started. Once you've got your old fan removed, you can take a Phillips screwdriver and remove the two screws that hold down the electrical box cover. And then you'll have access to the electrical box. Here we've got a fan cord, so this would be typically what you'd see if your fan was in the house or the garage attic. There are a few outside systems that have a fan cord, however, that's not to current radon standards. So then we are going to use our channel locks and we are going to remove this nut or loosen the nut and then that'll allow us to push this cord through so that we get, get a little bit of slack and we can remove these wire nuts. And you'll notice before we remove these wires we've got white to white, we've got green to green and black to black. So now we can break these connections and we can pull our cord through and we can reuse this cord on our new fan. Now we'll remove this grommet. So we're gonna use our needle nose pliers and hook it on the nut in there. And then we'll loosen this grommet up. And then we can remove that. We can discard of the old fan. Now, if you have an outside system, you will likely have conduit that runs to your fan to wire it. And one of the things that we run into with these is that this little rubber O-ring is sometimes deteriorated and broken. So you may need to pick up a new O-ring and we'll put a link to this uh, connection down in the description. To remove this connection, you'll just use a screwdriver as this a metal part will be inside the electrical box. And we've got a video that shows how to do that. We'll put that down in the description as well. But the process is gonna be the same. You'd remove that nut, remove the wire nuts, and then um, you're gonna have the same connections, except this copper, bare copper wire is your ground. This is going to go to the green wire on the fan. All right, now we've got our new Ray Donaway fan, and we are going to use our old cord to wire this one. So I'm just gonna straighten out these wires here on the cord, clean them up a little bit, get rid of some of those frays. Then I'll install the grommet. And this rounded side goes towards the plug. Then we'll remove this locking nut We'll get the wires out of the way inside the electrical box, and then we'll thread this cord through the hole, and then we'll install the locking nut. The side, the flat side with the circular holes goes towards the electrical box connection. And then we're gonna thread in this grommet, like so. And then we'll tighten this up with our needle nose pliers and our channel locks or pliers. Now that we've got that snug down, we can hook up our wire connections. So we're gonna go green to green. We're gonna twist those two wires together and then we'll put on the wire nut and then we'll go black to black And you're going to want to twist these to the right so that the wire nut, when you thread that on, tightens everything down instead of loosens everything up. Ready, tidy, lefty, loosey. Now we can tuck everything back in the box. And as I do that, I'm going to pull some of the slack on this cord out so that it gives us enough room to fit everything in there. And then we'll tighten this nut up. These are all just plastic threads, so no need to over tighten anything. And then we can take our new 
electrical box cover. This does come with new wire nuts, so you can use those if you'd like, or reuse the old ones. We'll put that cover on. And then we'll tighten that up with the Phillips. And that's how you put a new power cord on your new radon fan. We'll also put a link to the power cord kit that does come with the bushing as well if you want to replace your power cord in the description below. And again, if you've got an outside system, this would be in conduit. You'd do pretty much the same thing except you're gonna make sure that washer's in good shape, thread this through the electrical box cover, and then this would go on uh, and be on the inside and then tighten everything up. And then you're gonna reconnect everything the same, white to white, black to black, and this bare copper is going to go to the green for the ground. Be sure to check out the description for links to relevant videos on how to replace your radon fan and also how to select the correct radon fan for your replacement. And until next time, I'm Jesse with American Radon Mitigation. Thank you so much for watching.